the request. Get to work. What are you looking for today? Which one? Who is it for? Which one? Who is it for? Who is it for? Right now. How many would you like? You want the thank you very much. You want the thank you very much. You want put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You want the thanks for your patronage. Alright, we're on the hunt for a Gatore coffee. First, let's find out how many are in the area. Gatore coffee. Got it. There's only one that's close to Sendai Station. Whoa, that was fast. It's a bit of a walk, but I'll be happy to guide you to the destination. You're amazing, Sophia. It's like you were made to be a navigator. Ugh, but being the navigator's my job. It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? All right, I guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah, let's get going. Okay, I got it. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. It seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cell's calling our names. Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Call it whatever you want. We gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has got to be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. Just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. Uh, the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. What? That voice... is it Natsume? It can't be. He acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's pretty <laughs> oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one, and <laughs> I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does by some miracle make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs>
guys are the worst. Here it comes. Right on. A talent must hack like you was hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless! This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya. Careful! It's using different weapons from last time. Let's go. Take it. Shit, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
stringing yourself along. <laughs> Stop. Be careful not to get caught up in this attack. Okay, follow me with these. Here come. Grab it, sir. Gotta exploit those weaknesses. Super cool out there. It's over. <laughs> Go ahead. Does it? We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? Seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. Those editors are horrible. And they knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas. Pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor. And battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as him. Inari! It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. He, however, doesn't seem to have anyone. 
Atsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. Now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. Okay, all that's left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. That should materialize them. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? That only worked because we had all those people to help spread the word. It probably wouldn't work here. Hmm. What do we do? Bobby! He could be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom, huh? Don't worry, I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramsu's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would ya? I'm over it, huh? What do you mean it's not worth pup sex time? Quit screwing around, you call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid, too? Is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <laughs> hey, wait! Where are you going? It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you or anything! Uh, the kid totally thinks he's a creep. That kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? Right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkichi what he thinks. <sighs> sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. Only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? If you want my advice, you should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I gotta draw the line at breaking the law. Hmm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps, you know that? <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? Uh, whatever. My point is, go with something simpler. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. In that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah. If we did it and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up too! You saying you can't do it? <sighs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. You kids. All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Listen to me.
What are you looking for today? What are you selling? How many? Are you sure? Are you sure? How many? Are you sure? How many? Are you sure? Are you sure? How many? Are you sure? Are you sure? How many? Are you sure? How many? Are you sure? How many? Are you sure? There's a sale happening. Now's your chance to show us. Who's it for? Time to cook. Are you going to cook? Hello, Trickster. Performing a fusion? It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill. Is this be born anew? You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. May luck be on your side. Let's get to work. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Natsume. Good morning. I see. There's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes. About that. What is it? What? What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is. To preserve the crime scene. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume. You are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work, finding your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> 
Honestly, how stupid can you get? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty! I won't hand them over. I won't give them up! You foolish heroes are nothing but talk! Come then! I'll crush every last one of you! All right, his cognition should be changed now. Thank you for all your help, Mr. Detective. <sighs> and with that, I've officially become an accomplice of the Phantom Thieves. What are you complaining about? You're the one who proposed working with us, remember? As a reward, I'll try to start calling you Zenkichi instead of Gramps from now on, okay? Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah. Zenkichi is good, don't you think? Okay then. From now on, you're Zenkichi san, all right? I'm looking forward to working together, Zenkichi. Oh, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far, Nick. Now then, the desire should have materialized at this point. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. And in doing so, we'll set his distorted heart straight. I'll just add this. Let's go. We're taking... Yeah, Natsumi won't know what hit him. Alright. Yours. Not 
Don't worry, my time. Got it. Okay, let's keep it moving. Now's our chance to ambush them.
Coming. I should write something. 